be a nanowire? Well, we start with a material like this. Okay. This is just silicon. We'll seed this surface with tiny gold nanoparticles. Okay. And how do you get the gold on the silicon surface? We do that in the clean room. All right, Ray, we got suited up. We're in the clean room. We need to seed the surface of this silicon wafer with gold nanoparticles. That's then right. the wires will grow off the gold, is that right? Exactly. We load the silicon into this chamber, and then we have this long arm that can pick up the Does sample and forward? pushes it into this chamber where we evaporate the gold. Okay. And we use a beam of electrons to heat a pot of gold. Okay, a pot of gold is inside this machine? Yeah. This would be full of gold. That's right. And then a beam of electrons would hit it. Yes. And some of the gold would evaporate. That's right. And it would get all over and that. And it would get over the surface. How much gold would you use to cover that much silicone? Oh, very, very little. This pot here would last essentially for years. Is this the gold? Yes, there's the gold. Do you guys normally hide gold in next to the machine? <laughs> normally we lock it away. Somebody must have left it out. Nice. Cool, so after that gets covered in gold, what's the next step? How, how would you grow nanowires on it? We do that in uh, another room. In you another wanna, room? machine? Okay, yeah, let's go check it out. Okay, what is this machine? This is called molecular beam epitaxy. Okay. It's just a fancy evaporator. Okay, so it's an evaporator. So you take a piece of silicon that has gold, gold on it, on it yes. and you put it in this machine, right. and then what happens? Then we'll heat up these containers, which contain different materials, and the material will evaporate and form the nanowires wherever you have gold nanoparticles resting on the surface. So after the piece of silicon comes out of the evaporator, how do you know it has nanowires on it? Well, I have a piece here that has nanowires. Okay. If you compare with the surface we started with, right. which was shiny, you can see now the surface is completely black. Okay. Like it's covered in soot. Okay, so how could you confirm that everything grew like you wanted it to grow? Uh, first thing we can do is use this electron microscope. Okay. And we can actually see individual nanowires like this. So these are the nanowires. On the top of each nanowire, you can see a shiny piece of gold. Why nanowire. does that happen? Well, the growth of the wire takes place underneath the gold. Okay. So as the wire grows, it'll push the gold up. 